last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Give us a chance. We can prove ourselves. We'll just see about that. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our latecomer up to speed. Watch your back, friend. And don't worry. It'll be alright. He can't kill us all. I will. And you take care of yourself. Believe me, I'll be watching back, front, everywhere. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. Fine. I will seek the insane hermit in the incredibly dangerous tomb and take his little test. But there, you know your task. Spindrel lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrel waiting, slave. Ah, an alien acolyte. Unusual, but not unexpected. The Sith are not friendly to your kind. But that will be an advantage, I think. You are here for your trial, yes? Learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb. And hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. Yes, my lord, that's right. Of course it is. I know the way of things on the surface. But before I answer either way, you must pass a trial of blood. Survive, and I will teach you what I know. Excellent. These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you and taking your place. But your desire proved stronger, and their blood became the mantle of your victory. Well done. But you are not Sith yet. 
Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. This is the Sith Code. Commit it to your heart, and you will have the strength to crush your enemies. Do you understand? Yes. I think I do. I must use my emotions to grow strong. Do not be timid. Humility is the attitude of a slave, not a Sith. Now go. Return to Harkon and nurture your hatred for him. And use your fear of him to grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. And what if she tells him to strike me? If you do not already know the answer to that question, then you are not worthy of being Sith. Now, go. Leave me to my rest. Ah, the last one. Always the latecomer. Now we can see what the hermit thinks of you, slime. Hmm. Acolyte Cory. Step forward, please. Yes, Overseer. You are a weak, pathetic rodent, and even a lunatic like Spindrel can see this. And that means... Meet our newcomer, Fawn Alt. This is real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This, this is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. Nice to meet you, Fawn. Hope Harkin treats you better than he treats us. Save your well wishes for someone who cares, slave. Step this way, slave. I want to speak to you privately. The rest of you, get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fon. Spindrel awaits. Now, listen to me. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? You stay out of my way. I'll stay out of yours. Shut your mouth, wretch. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details, and most likely hasten your demise. The jails? He's not going to arrest me, is he? I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. 